What's up, 83 crew? Pilot83 here with my third video installment on my Concord tutorial series. In this video here, we will be going over how to set up a flight plan using the FMC. We will go over takeoff and getting to our cruise altitude. So let's go ahead and get to it. So let's go back over here. Go ahead and turn the power on just because I like to do things to make them repetitive so they stick very easily. So turn extra power on, come down here, left and right battery, just like that. And then uh, EPU, and you're good to go. Then we'll come up here, let people know we are a live aircraft. Okay. Oh, got a beautiful kind cord right there. All right. That was my buddy. And another one of my buddies. It's Concord Heaven out here. Alright. So. Come right down here to this beautiful system. So this is basically a modified A320 FMS system. So let me shoot, break it down and make it easy for you. Okay. I'm not going to get to all the crazy stuff. I'm going to make it easy. And we can get more into it later. Just so you know how to work it. So you can get to and from where you want to go. So we'll go over here to data, which will be our initialization page or in it. Go up here from and to R1. So we need to put where, where we are at. So I am at Foxtrot, Mike, Echo, Echo. Oh, then you want to hold this down. Then I'm going to just put an airport in. Pensacola. To use as a reference, we are very far away from there. All right. Then you just come back up here, click R1, give it a minute to load in. There it is. All right. So we could choose a flight number. Uh, I'm in British Airways. Uh, three, four, three. Oh. Back up, back up, back up. There we go. Three, four, three. And you don't have to put this stuff in. It's just some more realism. Uh, cost index. If you were set up a flight plan on Simbury for whatever, this would be uh, different according to that. But just a good average uh, would say it'd be 250. It would be uh, our weight. Uh, okay, so our cruising altitude. So I'm going to just put in the standard right now, say 36,000 feet. Click L6, FL360, and I'll tell you the temperature at that altitude. So there you go. All right. Then what we can do is we could go to our flight plan. Uh, no, I'm sorry, we can go to performance. And we click V1, VR, V2, CR, roll for takeoff. See all this right here. I'm not sure why it's giving us flaps retract. I'm not sure why it's giving us such a fast speed there. Something seems to be off right there in the system, but. That's not really important. Uh, it'll still work either way. So 302. It seems too fast. Way too fast. 180. That's about where th that should be for our landing. But uh, okay. So we can now go to menu. Go to position monitor. When he said our position. For our IRS. So we, we just put in the airport that we're at again. There we go. Foxtrot mic echo echo. Put the gate that we are at. We are at gate 17. Oh. Ah. Boom. 
we're at gate 17 all right so we can't get this how we normally would which would be off the screen over here to get our GPS positions but what we could do is is even easier it's just uh, if you don't have your last position up here but we do but if you did you could click this and this would come up but just click right here R2 it will then appear down here and then just click right here boom that is in alright so we have our IRS position set our computers know where we are now let's say we would choose a runway so let's go to our destination arrival uh, say we want to do the ILS for the auto land which I'll be doing in my next video all right so you could choose your your approach you know you could choose your standard arrival route uh, just approach here I'll do my favorite I like Pincy I always do Pincy all right and uh, we can just insert that in okay now this system does not have waypoints that automatically come in if you want waypoints you have to manually insert those but I'm not gonna go over that in this video this is just a video to show you how to get from and to your destination and pick a runway and to do that auto land is it to have you set up to do that so like I said this this is gonna be user-friendly very easy so you see where we are it's gonna be us flying all the way down till we start our approach waypoint here which would be Pincy to Kalib which is where we would catch our glass soap 2600 feet and we would land at ILS 17 all right so all of that is set up ready to go if we look over here to our left we can see our flight plan right there all right all right so for this point here guys is where we would go ahead and get our pushback go ahead and start our engines so I'm gonna go ahead and do all that and then I will see y'all on the runaway where we will start talk about taking this plane off how things should be set and get us to our cruising altitude so I'll see y'all in just a minute alright pilots so here we are we are on the runway so let's go ahead and go over a few things while we're right here uh, we need to go ahead and make sure that we have our landing lights on our taxi lights on make sure we also have our auto stabilizer y'all feel uh, stab and uh, pitch have all those selected on we need to turn on our afterburners one two three and four go ahead and set our cruising altitude in the autopilot probably should have already done that thirty six thousand feet our roll speed like I said is going to be two hundred and seven knots um, go ahead and take off our parking brake let's go ahead get this out of here make sure that your nose is drooped to five degrees remember that it is ten degrees when landing five degrees for takeoff all right Turn the flight director on here. All right. Landing gear up. As soon as we hit 250 knots, just like we just did there, we will turn off our after burners. Go ahead and rise up the old sloop.
when we get to 5,000 feet we will go ahead and turn on autopilot 1 and 2 there we go we'll go ahead and turn on max climb let me just climb at no more than 400 knots so we'll hold that we'll go ahead and turn on our altitude acquired to go and get us up to 36,000 feet we will turn on our L nav to go ahead and get us going uh, make sure we have that switch in GPS so we are navigating alright and this here is going to go ahead and get us on our flight plan that I keyed into the system just a few minutes ago Alright, and this here is going to keep our speed alarm from going off here. We're not going to go excess of speed. And we are hauling and looking beautiful. At 10,000 feet, we will turn off our landing lights, taxi lights. So let me click them here. Probably not to move. There we go. All right. So we got those off. We're going to continue to climb here. It's going to get us right up to 400 knots and it's going to hold. We'll go ahead and. Uh, did not mean to set heading. We're going to go ahead and set our indicated airspeed up to 400 knots as well. That is the max it goes to. If you look at our gauge there, you will see that we are at. 400 knots and holding. See our flight plan there. We are lining up with her. Show you something real quick. Someone earlier asked me about can you open the cabin door? And yes, you can. Uh, you can actually actually do it from the engineer station and from the upper control panel. So you can do it like that. And we can also come right over here and do that. Click again. Open. Closed. And we're on our way, guys. All right. Like I said in my next video, I will do a ILS landing tutorial. So y'all be on the lookout for that. We are lining up right here directly on our flight path. So that's all looking amazing. Anyway, guys, yes, I just want to make y'all a very simple video here with the Concorde to get y'all going here, to get you, show you how to put the flight plan in, showing you how to get this plane to take off correctly so y'all don't get all those alarms. I hope this video was very helpful for y'all guys. If it was, let me know. I will also be doing a video to show y'all how to get this plane to Mach 2 easily. As always, guys, I'm Pilot83. Join my Discord in the description below. Also, I have an Instagram as well. Join that. Subscribe to that so y'all don't miss out on videos and news I post there. 
As always guys, happy flying out there and be on the lookout for that next video where I show you how to do a proper ILS landing in the Concorde. Till next time guys, happy flying out there. Peace. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you like this video and you feel like I earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss out. Until next time guys, see you in the air.